I promise you that you are not going to get into trouble. You can say anything you want with total and complete immunity. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, come on, anybody. Let it fly. Okay, once, once in a while, I'll take a long lunch. A siesta. Time thief, time thief, fire him. Dwight, you've really never stolen any company time? Never. Hmm. Yawn. Four seconds. What are you doing? Oh, you had said that you don't do anything personal during work time, so I'm just making sure. Oh, wait a minute. So you're going to time me every time I yawn? That's absurd. Really? Oh, hey, look. Monkey knows how to use a stopwatch, everybody. He's ta... Personal conversation. 17 seconds. There is no way that that was... One second. Hey, Andy. You. By any chance, did you see Battlestar Galactica last night? No, I did not. Is that any good? Actually not. It is really so-so. Okay. I mean, I like all the crazy monsters and stuff. You know, like Klingons and Wookiees and all that, but... Sorry, was there something you wanted to add, Dwight? Is that anything like the original Battlestar Galactica? You know what's weird? It's practically a shot-for-shot -shot remake. Really? Huh, that's cool. The story's kind of bland. It's about this guy named Dumbledore Calrissian oh, who okay. needs to return the ring back to Mordor. <sighs> really? That doesn't sound right. He has not stopped working for a second. At 12.45, he sneezed while keeping his eyes open, which I always thought was impossible. At 1.32, he peed, and I know that because he did it in an open soda bottle under the desk while filling out expense reports. And on the flip side, I've been so busy watching him that I haven't even started work. That's exhausting, being this vigilant. I'll probably have to go home early today. Nineteen minutes and forty-eight seconds. What were we doing for nineteen minutes and forty-eight seconds? None of your business. So I guess I can assume that was personal. Fine. So maybe you're not completely ethical, after all. Yes. Maybe I'm not. What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You were so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. Psh. Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think I'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... Here's what's going to happen. I am going to have to fix you, manage you to on a more personal scale. A, a more micro form of management. Jim, what is that called? micro Jim. Boom, yes. Now Jim is going to be the client. Dwight, you are going to have to sell to him without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Let's go. All right, fine. <clears throat> bring, bring. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight Schrute from the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Wow, well, that's great, because I need paper. Excellent, then you are in luck, because we are having a limited time offer only on everything. Wow, this is my lucky day. Ask him his name. What is your name, sir? I am Bill Butlicker. Really, that's your real name? How dare you? My family built this country, by the way. Be respectful, Dwight, please. Uh, uh, yes, Michael. Could you hold on one second? That's my other line. What? No, but I... Hello? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just on the phone with this stupid salesman. He's so dumb. Probably just gonna keep him on the line forever and not buy anything. 
Okay. It's up to you to change his mind. Sorry, that was a family emergency. Oh no, what's wrong? You know what? That's private. Boundaries, Dwight, come I'm on. I'm sorry, Mr. Butler. As I was saying, <sighs> we're having a limited- Speak up a little bit louder, I'm hard of hearing. He's hard if he's an old man. Okay, so. as I was saying, right now yeah, we are having- talk louder. Okay. Our prices have never been lower. Son, you have Certain to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, but, son! Butlicker! Our prices have never stop been lower! It, stop it! Heat! That is totally inappropriate. You never yell at the client. You now never you listen yell at to me, client. sir. Here we go. The three words I would describe you yeah. as is aggressive, yes. hostile, and definitely difficult. Please, Mr. Butler. I'm irate right give now. Give me the phone. Please give me He's another irate. chance. Give me the phone. Mr. Butlicker. Give me the phone. I have to put you on with my boss. Well, I should hope so. Who is this? Hello, this is Michael Scott, regional manager. Well, this is William M. Butlicker. Hello, Mr. Butlicker. How may we help you? Michael, I like the sound of your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy $1 million worth of paper products today. <laughs> See how it's done? Thank you very much, sir. I don't think you'll regret it. You, know what I did? you are the master. There is one condition, Michael. Yes. You have to fire the salesman that treated me so terribly. Don't do it, Michael. What's this? Looks like a red wire. Oh. That wasn't here before. Well, it's a computer, do I? I mean, computers have wires. Yours doesn't. Doesn't it? No. It's going in a different direction than the other wires. Dwight, I'm really busy. I can't talk about this anymore. I got 500 feet of red wire at a flea market up by Dunmore High School. 20 bucks for the whole spool. Crazy. What a deal. Oh, he'll be fine. I made it up there. Michael, since it is your 15th anniversary at the company, I thought it might be appropriate to begin the festivities with a 15-minute round of applause. I like it. Followed by a 15-minute moment of silence. I don't know. Is it classy enough? Jim, enough with the classy, okay? I just feel like after 15 years at this company, bravo, by the way, that we should celebrate with a very classy event, a night to remember. I think you're right. This party has to have all the excitement, drama, and intrigue of my time here. And of course, classy. And classy, yeah. Michael, you're just agreeing with him because he's wearing a tux. Don't you see what he's doing here? Last week, Dwight sent out a memo about the dress code. So this is me showing him that I'm taking it very seriously. Oh, here's one. A string quartet playing classical music. Mm, you know, that's good, but it's not classy. I, I need something classy, like the opening of a car dealership. That's it. Or Mr. Peanut. Yes. Mr. Peanut is not classy. Yes. He is a regular peanut. He just happens to have a cane, a monocle, and a top hat. That's what makes him classy. Okay, how about this? An ice sculpture shaped like you, covered in chocolate, covered strawberries. Oh, Dwight. You're trying too hard, and that's just not classy. See, the thing about classy is it's a state of mind. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't know what classy is then. Okay, let's just try this one on for size, and I apologize because it's right off the top of my head. An ice sculpture of you, completely surrounded by a variety of chocolate-covered fruits. Strawberries. That's inspired. I said that! Not classy. Not classy at all. Day class A. French. Classy? What was up with Pam being all pushy and negative in there? I think she just didn't want a crucifix cake. It scares me to see you going down a road that I went down. Am I going down a road? When I see her bossing you around like that, it just makes me wonder if this thing really has the legs to go the distance. It's so scary how right the things you're saying are. And you're coming at it with almost no knowledge, so of course I trust your opinion on this. 
I know a few things about love. Horrible, terrible, awful, awful things. I was going to use today to purge my inbox, but now something much more pressing has come up. Hey, Andy. You know, I've been thinking about what you said. And Noish. I just don't know if I can do it. That's interesting because what I hear you saying is that you do want to do it, which means you can do it. Believe me, I broke up with Angela and I'm like the happiest guy ever. I mean, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like total freedom, you know? It's just that Pam gets me through the day, you know? I really mm. rely on her. I'm pretty emotionally needy. And you know what? I am here for you. Let me be your traveling pants. <gasps> oh, what'd you do that for? <laughs> you know what I was doing. <laughs> totally. Okay. Hey, Jim. I just totally blew a sales call. Bro, I do that all the time. Yeah, well, with you it's different, okay? Because I just, I just suck. I just, I suck. Tuna, be nice to my friend Jim, okay? Why? When I look in the mirror, I don't like the face that looks back. Well, so what? Your body's a 10. Just forget it. Jim! I said forget it! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, God. Okay, Tuna. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello. Excuse me, can I have your attention, everyone? Here's the deal, everybody. Jim Halpert is very upset and disturbed. I don't know if it was something you did, something you said, a look you gave him, maybe it was nothing at all, but here's the deal, okay? It stops now. I guess I could be nicer. Andy, I think Jim is messing with you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Dr. Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh-huh, yes. Sure, I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family-sized chicken pot pie for lunch, and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about... Ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like clockwork. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, uh oh. Oh, what's so funny? You had to be there. Oh, okay. Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. See you later, Michael. Yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>